Oh, so hi guys again. This is Angle Look at the Sally for another world tutorial about this easy clockwork effect that actually reclaiming that Maximus Williams reclaiming to do this tutorial because he wants to make a tutorial about that again. Ooh, so this is another world tutorial. Hope you you join me in this in this tutorial and I hope you can follow too and uh, I'm sorry for uh, the I'm sorry for the previous videos that you reclaim that the mic was uh, low quality and I think this is another low quality mic that I buy and this actually it is not mine so and I'll talk to my channel uh, let's guess let's heat it up let's start so testing testing go uh go inside the shape yeah uh, yo go go open the guys view go guides uh wrapping it just uh, so open the guide seriously open the guides uh, so insert a shape like this just wanna uh, insert a uh oh yeah you insert a circle and draw it from the center uh, yeah, that's enough, and uh, with 2.5, uh, we fill with a noticeable color, you know, what you like, uh, like a brown color, and fill the knot line, you know, fill the knot line, <laughs> duplicate that, and press center, and to the middle, and, and shrink it a bit, okay, uh, like that, and fill with white first, and shrink, uh, resize, that, yeah, uh, so we have a uh, two circles and uh, so select the two circles, I like them. Then go to my shapes and select subtract. So we have this donut shape. Uh, you know, oh, all of us will have donuts, yeah. Uh, so we go to insert a shape like this um, rectangle and drag it to the right side of the circle donut. So fill it with um oh no no no. Oh. We make it the same format as this circle. Uh, select these two shapes, then go to conventions and subtract. Uh, no, yeah, we go intersect. Uh, yeah, thank you. We intersect this and we make an arc. And uh, what an example. So go insert a shape like you insert a square, drag it from the corner of this, and you make exactly like the width and set it to back and fill it with no fill and uh, fill it with no fill again uh, select the two and group 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 them and uh, we go insert a shape again and we insert as oh yeah rectangle uh, same width or height whatever and uh, go fill it with a turn color like a uh, gray a uh, gray and we we remove the outline and drag it. We make sure that this exact um, width uh, there. And drag it to the left side. Uh, we achieve it. Oh, by the way, this rectangle will be the surface the mat when we rotate this. We take this arc. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, we duplicate this and align it the center. Um. Oh yeah. Wait. Oh. Uh, that's an error. Uh, we need to access the election pin first. And uh, rename these things like this rectangle. We will rename it as the mat because it will use this as mat, of course. Then select this arc. Um, we name, rename this as arc. Of course, with this arc. <laughs> select the main arc and rename it as the visible because it is a visible arc. And we name this as a anchor point. Uh, anchor point. Because it defines an anchor point. So, um, okay, we achieved this. Hmm. So we duplicate this one. Oh, no. We duplicate this one. And align it to the center and align it to the middle. And um, we, we added an anchor point too because it is a second anchor point. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, one X and rotate this to 90 degrees or flip it horizontally. Uh, where? Flip it horizontally. 
Oh, that's the easy thing. And we will animate this one. Uh, animations, a spin effect. And we... No, access to animation pane. We play the previous, then... There. It's correct. Uh, we get the correct things here. And uh, we decrease the length to one second. Yeah, perhaps. And add it. Uh, make the smooth and full. Uh, we see it. We don't need to revolve a full 360. So select the first arc. No, yeah. We're seeing it 360 degree. We don't do that. And rotate it a quarter spin. Uh, not quarter spin, but a, a half spin. To rotate it 90 degree from the right. Uh, yeah. And. We select this, uh, no, 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 we select this one, and, no, <laughs> not for a oof, so sweet, and but small start, there, we achieve the animation first, and, yeah, what, I say it would take you to have that full, there, be done, we're done, you know, and it's just formatting this one as 0.75. There. Uh, we'll leave. Uh, let's select this main arc and add it and paint it the animation there. So it revolves. Mm. So we need to offset this to and decrease the smooth end of this arc too. And we add a. Hmm, uh, fill it with the background color, that's uh, white. Um, we select this and go to appear because we need to make it appear before the arc, the first arc will, that animates. Uh, place it here and, and make a delay of 7.75 seconds and also this one point for 7.5 seconds. Oh uh, yeah. Hmm, we are achieving the easy clockwise effect. Uh, it's done. Yeah, it's done. Actually, it's done. So yeah, we are finished with this one. Uh, achievement unlock for me. Yeah, I'm not singing. And there. No, it's uh, finished. We are finished with this tutorial. Like, subscribe for more PPTs, and I'll see you in the next video.